Good morning, Cardinals. Monday, June 1st, 2020, the last day of school for the spring semester 2020. We started this program back uh, March 31st, our first day of online learning, and we've continued every school day with Bel Air morning announcements. Uh, and it's been my pleasure to be a part of that with you. Um, let's get to a few announcements. A couple questions still continue to come in. The Ask Mr. McDonough link will remain there. Um, there's also a link right below for feedback. I'd love to hear more about um, what you enjoyed about the announcements, maybe what they look like going forward, and just get some feedback from me. I think it would be great. But a couple of questions did come in. One is regarding um, the grades that are in grade speed versus, wait a second, I thought cycle six wasn't going to count. Um, unless it helped us. So let's get something, a couple things clear. There are two different areas where your grades are stored. One is grade speed, which you guys can log into and you can see. And then there's Chancery, which is our information, student information system, where the grades from grade speed go to. Um, now teachers can take the grades from grade speed and bump the grade up or anything like that. So it's sometimes the grades in Chancery, which is your report card, which is your transcript, will be higher than the grades in grade speed. Um, all of the calculations with cycle six um, only helping you, not hurting you, all of that happened in chancery. None of that happened in grade speed. Grade speed still shows it as though we had a regular old school year. Um, and this was far from regular. In any case, um, chancery is where uh, cycle six only counted if it helped you and those calculations absolutely came out uh, and worked well so um, I believe that so when you get your report card which we'll post we will post this week later this week we'll place those in parent student connects that you can log on and see it um, but I also believe that the district was today planning to post the chancery grades in grade speed they understand that this connection is lost so they are working on that and I think that they were planning to get that out today Monday um, if not then Tuesday I think it's the latest but I'll give you an update somehow not through announcements, but somehow I'll get it to you if it's not up there today. So stay tuned. And today means anytime today. Um, the other one was, hey, when we do drop off for grades 9, 10, and 11. So that's June, June 3rd and 4th of this week, and then 8th, 9th, 10th, and 11th of next week. Can we drop off library books? You bet. Drop off, get anything out of your locker that you need to. Drop off your textbooks, library books, any of that stuff so that you're all taken care of. But remember, you are keeping your laptops at least through June perhaps through the summer. We'll get more about that. Um, but as we begin to wrap this up, we did have a few final words uh, from each of our segments and each of our characters. And uh, they wanted to kind of pass along a little last thought uh, as we head into the summer. This is Joey with the weather. I just wanted to let you know that I'll miss you over this summer. And that even as we have those bursts of sun that come out and heat things up and make it not too comfortable, we'll also have some days that are partly cloudy, which we saw plenty of, and maybe even some rain come our way. But no matter what, you remember what Joey always says, we're in this together, sometimes you're going to roll the strike. Sometimes you're going to toss it in the gutter. Strikes and gutters. But as long as we're together, we're going to be all right. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Joey. Thanks, Michael. Yeah, so this is just Max, and I just want to make sure everybody knows that, like, you know, I talk a lot about being a champion because it's just part of who I am. You know, sometimes we just can't help the, the things that we're blessed with. But what I want to tell you is that any time this summer, even when you're feeling, you know, mighty strong or you're struggling or anything like that, as long as you're with the red and white, you're with the red and white, you're going to be a champion and you're going to stay a champion. So when we see each other back in August, we're just going to be ready for that parade, just for that ready to rejoice. But until then, you're a max champion. Don't you forget. Go red and white. Slap, clap, <laughs> cards. Chef Charlie here, and uh, we've gone through a lot of different recipes, a lot of different ways, and had different chefs, that guest chefs that came and joined us, and it was all spectacular, and I hope that you got a, a few tips and a few things that you can do um, this summer to help break off that boredom and get you through the summer months and the hot months and moving into the fall. But what I also want to remind you 
is that uh, um, anytime that things seem a little tough or anything like that and life throws you lemonades, well, you just remember what Chef Charlie says. You take those lemonades, you make something wonderful, lemon zest or lemonade or a lemon chicken or send me your ideas of what you can do with lemons when sometimes they come your way. Otherwise, thanks for tuning in and this has been Cardinal Cooking. What's up, my friend, man? Right here, it's the man on the street. You guys you always run into me. Not on my bike right now, but otherwise, you know, I'm just trying to make sure I'm taking care of things, man. Staying fit, getting in, listening to my music, staying tuned and everything like that. But listen, as we head through this summer and things get hot and you're out there and you're, you're struggling with what's going on, you know, at home and outside and just everything, man, going on. Sometimes you're going to feel like the waves are just crashing over you. But man, when those waves are coming, you know what you can do. You know, come on in, man. Learn how to surf those waves. And the best way to learn how to surf is you got to find balance, man. Both here and here and then out there on the wave, man. If you can do that, find balance with yourself, with your family, your friends, the world. Once you've got that balance, then you can surf. You're going to ride that wave, man. That's what Geo's always about, man. Just remember, moving forward, man, I got nothing but love in my heart for you. And so take care of yourself. Hashtag Geo Love. We'll talk soon, man. I'll see you out there on the street. Scoop McGee here, and I've got something on my mind that I've got to share with you right now. I'm being told that today is the last day of school, that there's no more learning after this. Well, what Miss Carson always told me when I was just a pup was that you could learn anytime. You grab that textbook, you can just keep on running and reading and writing and doing all that stuff, but you keep on learning and you don't stop. So it just leads me to one question for that district. Listen here, Flapjack. <laughs> I'm wondering exactly what you're hiding. What are you up to? When are we going to reopen? And what's that test going to cover? Those are the kinds of questions that you count on me to answer. Scoop McGee will be here when you get back. Back to you. That's, that's what Scoop says. It's always great to hear from everyone, Joey, Max, Chef Charlie, Gio, and of course, Scoop. Characters that have been a part of this show uh, since we came on air March 31st. Uh, but once again, as we start to wrap this up, um, I do wanna thank you. I hope that you have a safe summer, that your family stay safe and healthy, that uh, we all stay safe and healthy, and that uh, we come back in August stronger, um, even tighter as a community and ready for whatever that next adventure looks like. Uh, but I've enjoyed the time together with you. And I hope that as I, I've shared before, brought many a smile to me in getting to have the time with you. And I hope that uh, it brought a little levity to your day as well. And maybe a little smile or a giggle or anything like that. Um, I wanna give a shout out of course um, to everyone that was a loyal viewer, but then also want to give a special shout out to uh, my faithful camera person, my wife Jennifer McDonough, for helping out and providing a few giggles along the way. So you saw some of that, especially in bonus coverage. But in any case, um, please remember to uh, continue to wash your hands for at least 20 seconds. Um, make sure that you're staying physically distant, but make sure that you remain socially connected. That's really important. And then finally, I would say that uh, those are our morning announcements. Thank you and enjoy the day.